Hi everybody, it's been quite a while since I've done a vlog video. I've just been really busy with uh, moving. We're moving August 15th, so I've been packing. And, um, it's my kitty right there. He wants treats. <laughs> um, I've been packing, so I haven't really had time to do much for videos. Um, but I just went to Sobeys and I found some really great gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, egg-free products. Because um, I have to make sure when I read stuff, it's not just gluten-free, it has to be everything free. So, um, I got a few other things like some chicken and bananas, but that's nothing really special. Um, but my husband and I are having our anniversary tomorrow, our four year anniversary. So, I want to make something special. So, I found these, and Nancy is quite a good brand for like having stuff free. I really like their um, pancake mix. The only thing of theirs I've tried that I haven't liked is their little soup cups. Uh, they were not good. Um, I've got to do a gluten-free win and fail video at some point because I've been testing out quite a lot of stuff. So this one is the Namaste gluten-free barbecue coating mix. And there's the ingredients. Um, you can just pause the video if you want to read them. But um, basically it's just herbs and spices and then um, uh, rice flour. And then this one is hot and spicy. I've had a really real craving for spicy food lately. Um, for the last couple months, so I got this one. And there's the ingredients there. And again, it's just brown rice flour and then a bunch of seasoning. And then this one is just the home style. And so the other ingredients are there. And then this one sounds delicious too, which is the Italian herb coating mix. Now these were $5.29 a piece. Um, but I didn't really think that was too bad. Um, I gluten free is more, so it's just how it is. Um, and I live in Canada, so prices are higher here. They might be cheaper um, in America. And now, what I'm really excited for is this. This was uh, the price. This was $11.99 for this bottle, and I was humming and hawing, but I just had to try it. Um, it's expensive, but it's not like I would use this every single day, so it should last me quite a while. This is called Naked Coconuts. It is coconut soy-free seasoning sauce, organic, and it's a soy sauce substitute, gluten-free and raw. I miss my soy sauce so much. I love eating rice, and I haven't had rice in months because I like rice with soy sauce. So I went ahead and got this. Um, I really like coconut, so I'm hoping that it's good. Um, the ingredients are right here. It says raw organic gluten free soy sauce and lower in sodium. This is an uh, enzymatically alive, all purpose natural substitute for soy sauce. Salty and rich in flavor. Use it to enliven your salad, dressing, sauces, marinades, stir fries, and of course sushi, which I haven't had sushi in forever. So here are the ingredients. It's just organic, raw, coconut sap, and sea salt. So that's it. So it's $11.99, but I just I had to try it. So I got that. And then this I decided to try. Like I said, I've been on a spicy kick. Um, garlic chili pepper sauce. I thought, hmm, that sounds good. And it's gluten-free, of course. Um, and it just says shake well. Oh, here's the ingredients right here. But she doesn't want to focus my hands shaking really bad. Um, red chili, water, sugar, garlic, vinegar, salt. So, I'll try that and I have tried this before and I love it. This is uh, says whole grain chicken coating mix. It's wheat free, gluten free. I like crispy coating, perfect for baking or frying chicken, fish, pork, fish, and vegetables. And it is. It is absolutely delicious. It tastes really good. I quite like it. And uh, here we go. Rice flour, potato starch, tapioca starch. Brown rice breadcrumbs, exanthem gum, salt, red pepper, black pepper, chili, and garlic. So, just a really nice flavored mixture. This was four dollars. This I think was four-ish. They're four or four ninety-nine. Same with this. It's about four or four ninety-nine. This was spicy Thai chili. Um, this is just naturally gluten-free product. And here's the ingredients to that. I think it will be yummy. Um, um, maybe as a marinade or a sauce for some chicken. And then this is just my staple 
rice flour. All that's in it is rice flour. This is about eight, eight or nine dollars, but it's a pretty big bag, and it's quite, quite good. Um, and I need it because I am going to be making um, my some. Well, it's not my sauce. I found the recipe. Um, this cream sauce today for pasta dinner, and then tomorrow I'm going to do chicken and broccoli and rice and maybe figure out an appetizer or something uh, for a special meal when my husband comes home for our anniversary since he can't really eat out. So today I'm going to film how to make this cream sauce and I'll give you the website it's from. It is so yummy. It's almost like gravy but like creamier um, and it's made with uh, rice milk and chicken stock and um, rice flour and a bunch of different flours. So. I'm going to go ahead and put everything away and then tidy up the kitchen and get cooking. I'm just about to get started cooking. Um, sorry if you can hear that noise in the background, that's my dishwasher, it's extremely loud. Um, but this is the sauce I'm going to make to go with the pasta. So this is from the blog called My Real Food Life. She has amazing recipes, she hasn't posted in forever. Um, probably a couple of years, but the recipes that are on here are awesome. So this is gluten-free, dairy-free cream sauce, and um, it's, I tried it and it's quite good. So I need all these ingredients out, and then I'm going to go ahead and get all cooking the with ingredients out, and I'm going to start uh, putting everything together. So rice milk, um, pepper, salt red pepper flakes, chicken stock, um, this one is a really good one, it's a really good for allergy, it's gluten free um, and no MSG added and it says we take extra care with allergen control in our facilities, this product is gluten free and has no MSG added, so um, it's a really good chicken stock so it's kitchen basics, um, and then red pepper flakes, oregano, um, olive oil, I'm just using extra virgin because that's what I have, rice flour, um, garbanzo or chickpea flour, potato starch, and mustard seed. Um, so all this goes into making this delicious cream sauce. So I added all my dry ingredients and I'm just going to mix them together. So this is the 4 tablespoons chickpea flour, chickpea flour, 4 tablespoons of rice um, flour, 2 teaspoons potato starch, um, and then uh, one teaspoon of mustard powder. So that is all mixed in together. And then I also mixed all my seasonings because uh, those get added after. So that is um, one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano, uh, eighth of a teaspoon of hot pepper flakes, salt and pepper to taste. So that is my seasonings and we're going to start getting eight red tablespoons of olive oil getting nice and hot in this pan. And then I'm going to go ahead, this is pretty much like a roux. I'm going to go ahead and add the flour mixture to the pan. I'm going to mix it around um, just till it's nice and thick, but I can't let it get brown because if I let it get brown, um, it will burn. So I'm just trying to mix this in as fast as I can. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken stock and rice milk. So there's that, and then I'll grab my chicken stock and rice milk, and add that in there, and mix this around, and then um, after this gets a little thicker, I'm going to go ahead and add the seasonings, and it's pretty much done until I get the thickness I want. So, um, seasonings in. And I'll mix everything around and I'll come back when it's all done. Sauce is done. It took about a minute for it to get nice and thick. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and put this in a container. And then I'm going to get my chicken cooked and my noodles boiling. But there it is. Smells delicious. I'm using some ground turkey right now um, for my pasta. And I have my pot, which is, looks absolutely huge, but it has to be that size because... Um, I'm moving to most of my stuff packed and my other two smaller ones in the dishwasher. So all I did was put in a little bit of, um, it's just epicure salt I got. It's like, um, chili flakes, um, garlic and salt. 
delicious. So I put a little bit of that on there and a few more chili flakes because I like my food a little spicy. And once this is cooked, I'm going to go ahead and add all the mushrooms. So this is roughly two pounds of ground turkey. So once this is all done, I will come back. The last thing I'm using is this gluten-free penne um, that I got from Costco. And it's got brown rice, amaranth, and quinoa. So roughly a Ziploc container full of noodles going into my boiling water. And these are going to cook for about uh, six to eight so minutes. So I have my mushrooms cooking. And I know it looks like a lot of mushrooms right now. But this is going to cook right down. And then my chicken is right here. And my pasta is boiling away right here. And that will be done right away. And then I will put everything together and I'll have a delicious things are done. And like I said, they cook down quite a bit. And I just used the juice from the turkey. Um, uh, the ground turkey and a little bit of chicken stuff uh, to get these nice and going. Because usually, uh, well I don't know usually, but usually I used to use butter to cook my uh, mushrooms in. And, um, can't do that anymore. So. There is, my noodles are all drained, and so I took this pot, and I'm going to dump in all those delicious mushrooms. Now that I have all the mushrooms in, let's mix it around, and I have this set on low, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add this in and mix it, and then I'll show you what it looks my like when it's done. pasta sauce is all done. It looks delicious mushrooms, ground turkey, and this yummy, yummy cream sauce. And I mean, you don't have to put all the extras in, um, but that's how I like my pasta. So I have my plate of penne, and I'm just going to go ahead and stick a scoop of the turkey and mushrooms on there with the cream sauce. And I ended up adding just a touch more rice milk and um, chicken stock just because it, it got a little thick sitting there, and I didn't want my sauce that thick. So there is my dinner, um, and it's going to be delicious. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to end the vlog here today. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.